Hey. He come to my city, you know you gotta tap in, tap in. What they call you? Good in every hood, cause you know that I'm tapped in, tapped in. So baby, tap in, ah. tap in. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yawn's World. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm in Yawn Moore. And today we're gonna be talking about why I decided not to play professional basketball after I got out of college. Right now it is pretty early where I am at, so I'm gonna actually go inside and grab a Starbucks. I'm pretty bummed about it though because I just looked up a Starbucks location on my GPS and I was just thinking it was gonna be a drive-through so I didn't have to get out my car, but unfortunately this is a walk-in location, so I'm gonna have to get up and stop being lazy and have to go grab my drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then get right back to you guys. secured the starbucks bag <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and head back to my destination that i'm gonna film at but i just wanted to share with you guys what my order is i normally just get a caramel apple spice with whipped cream and caramel drizzle on top it's the same thing i've always kind of gotten it's just a hot apple cider but it's fire to me so i'm gonna go ahead and drive back and then start filming what's up y'all so i'm basically just gonna be answering some questions because a lot of people have been asking me why i don't play basketball anymore why i don't play professional basketball all of these basketball questions and i never really addressed it after our season got cut short due to covid so i thought i kind of just talk on my youtube channel about why i made the decision not to play after college there's really not a lot to it if we're being honest it's not really deep it's just I've literally been playing basketball since I was a little girl. Playing basketball at the level that I played basketball at and playing sports in general at any high level like I did, it wear and tears on your body, it wear and tears on your mental, and it is a really big commitment. And not saying that the benefits aren't worth it, I got a free education, I got a bachelor's degree and a master's degree fully paid for. I got experiences of a lifetime, I got friendships, sisterships that I wouldn't have had without basketball and sports and I'll forever appreciate the game um, and I'm not completely just saying that basketball is not in my life anymore and that's not an option for me but coming out of college I had to be honest with myself. It was kind of a decision that I made before I even started my senior year at Oregon I knew that after my senior year, I wanted to do other stuff that made me happy because basketball was my identity for a long time. And I didn't want to continue to play after college when I still had a lot of growing up to do myself. Um, and like I said, it's a big commitment. Playing overseas, playing um, in the league or trying to play in the league, it's a big commitment. That just wasn't something that I wanted to continue to do at that point in my life and mixed with COVID happening and everything else and just so many more add-ins to this year um, made me wanna stay close to home and try other avenues in my life that I was interested in. I've always wanted to create my own clothing line. Um, on October 17th, I launched my clothing line, Top 2 Not To. Go shop that merch. <laughs> the link will be right here. But I wanted to do things that made me happy. Um, not saying that basketball doesn't make me happy, but Sorry, there's a motorcycle going by. Not saying that basketball didn't make me happy, but I really just wanted to be honest with myself, like I said, and try other horizons in life that I hadn't tried. My life has literally always been about sports. Ever since I was little, all throughout high school, all throughout college, my life was dedicated to basketball. And that's all fine. And it got me to where I am today and I appreciate it and I love it. Um, but I didn't want to go play overseas and be in a situation where I'm solely relying on basketball for my livelihood. I wanted to be able to branch out and try other avenues in life that I was interested in to try to figure out what I want to do beyond the game. At some point in your life, sports is going to end. So if you're young, um, take it and run with it. You know, use it as a tool to push you further in life. But at some point, your body's not going to be able to do what it used to do. Um, speaking of bodies, that's another reason why I did not decide to go play overseas is because I've had so many surgeries, you guys. Like, if you don't follow my story, if you don't know my story, I 
have had like six surgeries. Um, I tore both my ACLs and meniscuses in high school. Um, I had a knee reconstruction in college. Um, I had a wrist surgery in college. I've had so many surgeries and my body was really just tired if we're being honest. Like my body was tired my senior year and that's all fine, but I just really wanted to be able to take a break and just calm down and, and figure out what other things I like and enjoy. Um, not saying that I'm completely done with basketball. Um, I decided not to go to the extent of going overseas to play professionally because that's a lot of commitment. Um, but there is something I've been doing recently. There's a local, um, like a semi-league in the Bay Area that I've been playing on and off whenever I'm in town, um, which has been really fun and cool because it allows me to stay close to the game without having the commitment of being on a team and having practices every day and just a lot of the wear and tear, like I said. So I've been playing in a couple games with this league. It's been really cool. There's not stress that's added to it. So I've really been enjoying it and just being able to stay close to the game without being so serious and like having hella stuff on the line um, has made it so much more enjoyable and kind of just being able to play whenever I feel like it because I'm not really taking it serious. I'm not, I mean, I'm taking it serious because I'm a competitor, but I'm not taking it serious in the sense of like, I'm not trying to get a contract out of it. I'm not trying to like go to the league out of playing with this league. I'm just playing it to stay in shape, stay around the game. If I do decide that I want to play again, I can just make a phone call and make it happen. Um, there's opportunities that present themselves after college, but like I said, in that moment, I wasn't in the space to play professionally and to travel across the world, to play there for months, away from my family and away from my friends um, and just completely drop my life and go to another country. So I decided to stay, but who knows honestly what, what's in store for these next couple of years. For this moment in my life, it's the first time since I literally was a little girl where I've been able to sit down and calm down and be like, okay, what does Mignon like? What does Mignon like outside of basketball, outside of sports? Like what interests me? Um, and that's really important. I feel like, especially at the age I am, I'm 22 years old. I'm still learning, I'm still growing. Um, I was able to do a lot of growing in college, but this is the point in my life where I'm really figuring out myself. Um, and I didn't want sports to be that defining factor of myself because I know I'm more than sports. I know I have so much more to offer to this world because honestly, right now I'm enjoying being able just to stay calm. Like my personality is very like, I like to be busy. I like to have things to go to. Like it's been really weird not having a meeting to go to or practice to attend or something that I have to go to. So it's been really cool, but weird. Um, just being at home and, and doing things on my own terms. Now that I own my own business, a lot of the things that I do is based on what I do and what moves I make. So um, it's been really weird, but it's been a humbling experience. I've learned so much through this experience and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. I'm glad I decided not to go play overseas this year just because it just wasn't in the cards for me. And, and I'm happy I'm staying home with my family, you know, with all this going on in the world, COVID, all these injustices, you know, the presidential stuff. Like it's just a really, really, really weird time in history. And 2020 has been crazy, um, but I'm glad I'm close to home. I'm glad I'm close to the people that I love the most. And I've been able to really get to know myself a little better. Not saying that I know everything. I still have so, so much to learn, but it's been a really great experience being able to just calm down, being able to sleep in a couple of days of the week. But yeah, so this concludes the reason or reasons why I decided not to play professional basketball right out of college. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're still sticking around, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I was getting some DMs on my social medias saying that my comments were disabled and you guys weren't allowed to comment. Sorry, y'all. I'm new to this YouTube game, so I didn't even know you guys couldn't comment. But if these comments comments aren't allowed on this video please let me know so I can turn them on so we can interact stay tuned for the next video and peace out